Hello again, slot car fans. Welcome back to the channel. And speaking of the channel, uh, the channel gets uh, a, a question uh, regularly, which uh, leads us to the conclusion that there's some confusion out there about uh, what constitutes Carrera digital slot car track and Carrera analog slot car track. And, and I'm not talking about the you know the overall layout or set per se, but rather uh, the individual track pieces, you know, what works with what, uh, what's compatible, and so forth. So I hope to uh, quell some of that confusion, I guess, and at the same time, I give you some advice if you're looking to buy used Carrera track. As I mentioned in the intro, the channel gets one question regularly, and that always has to deal with somebody looking to add track to their layout, and they need to know if it will work with their digital layout. And the answer is almost always yes. Uh, sometimes it's yes, however, dot, 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 and sometimes there's a contingency, and I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, firstly, and quickly, if I can, uh, the difference between Carrera Digital and Carrera Analog. Uh, this right here is a, uh, a piece of Carrera analog track. Uh, it's also a piece of Carrera uh, digital track. It can be used interchangeably on, uh, on any layout. Uh, it, the rails on the track simply deliver power. In analog mode, it's just a variable voltage depending on the position of the throttle on the controller. With digital, the rails maintain a fixed voltage, but the power is embedded with a digital signal. And that goes for pretty much any standard Carrera track. So a straight section, a partial straight section, the curves, uh, the overpass, you know, for example, here. Uh, and it's labeled you know, Digital 124, Digital 132, and Evolution. Evolution being Carrera's line of uh, analog slot car track, cars, accessories, and so forth. Um, uh, and then, of course, digital 124 and 132 are the same, you know, aside from the size of the cars and the power supply. All the, you know, everything else on the track is, is the same, the, the lane changers uh, and uh, the control unit and that kind of thing. Um, so there's really only, say, like six different actual digital specific pieces of track. Uh, and those would be the, the digital control unit. Of course, that's what makes the whole track digital. Uh, and also the, the lane changers, uh, the pit lane, uh, which is essentially another lane changer, the check lane, and then the pit lane adapter. Um, and that's, uh, you know, that's just labeled Career Digital. It doesn't have that you know, Evolution logo on here. And so this is you know, digital only. Of course, the, the digital specific pieces have the embedded electronics. And you can tell those they have the infrared receiver on those tracks some people call it an electronic eye uh, but what it does is it senses or it reads uh, the id of a digital car as it crosses over uh, so yeah for the most part again uh, any standard piece of track will work on a digital set uh, maybe save for the evolution power track uh, which actually might actually work if you don't plug anything into it but i wouldn't recommend trying it so all of that seems pretty straightforward, right? So where does the confusion come in? Uh, well, I believe it's, it comes from the, well, the secondary market, you know, used track, uh, you know, reseller sites, eBay, Etsy, that kind of thing. And coupled with the fact that Carrera has been around for a long time and they've had several different uh, product lines uh, or, you know, brands, uh, and even though the track is for the most part compatible, you know, they, it's a different name. Right. So um, now you might go to uh, eBay and, and somebody out there has an old evolution track and they're parting it out. Right. And they're let's say they just take all their streets and they bundle them together and then they, they list it, you know, in the listing, you know, as Carrera track, you know, or Carrera evolution track or Carrera straight track. Uh, and it doesn't mention anything about digital. Uh, now, somebody new to. You know, digital or Carrera or slot cars in general, uh, you know, might look at that and, you know, they, they recognize that in the picture, the track looks pretty much like what they've got on their digital, you know, set, uh, but it doesn't say digital in the ad, and so they're not really sure, right? Um, you know, so, but yeah, it'll, it'll work. Um, and also what can be confusing too is 
Now, for example, again, now this is continuing with, you know, the used track thing. Um, some of the older track out there, uh, it's got some other designations on here uh, as well. You know, you got exclusive, which I'm going to talk about, and then, uh, you know, Pro X also. Um, so if you are looking for, you know, used track, uh, one thing to be aware of, though, is you know, if you haven't been playing with Carrera for 20 years or so, uh, then what you're probably familiar with is their current track, which is the three-tab uh, evolution track. And, of course, you know how that goes together. Uh, you just got the, uh, the locking clips you put in here, you push the track together, and then you can slide these locking clips into place, right? Now, why do I bring this up is because there is a lot of this track out there. And this is the older, this was manufactured up until about mm, 2008 maybe, give or take a year. Uh, and this is the exclusive track. And it is the same, dimensionally the same. So uh, same width as the current track. All the radii are the same and everything. The only real difference is the fact that it's got four tabs on it instead of three. And so that the way these, you know, this track would go together, the uh, same way that the, the current track does, you just push it together, but you don't use these these long uh, locking clips. You use these, well, if you hold it this way, it's a U-clip or it's a C-clip, <laughs> regardless. Uh, these lock into the, the tabs that come through from the other side of the track, and then when they go in this way, they lock the track together. Now, this is locked together just as well as this newer track or even better actually uh, you know these will given enough stra strain or stress you know will disengage um, which is actually not a bad thing right uh, you know it prevents things from breaking uh, but this begs the question okay is this track compatible with that track and I've, I've seen on uh, on slot car forums before the same question asked and the answer sometimes there is no and sometimes it's Yes, it is, but uh, not as well. Uh, well, the answer is actually absolutely yes, they're compatible. But the reason for the sediment out there, I think, is probably because any time that you see this track, the older Fortad track listed for sale, it never includes these clips you know, or any mention of them at all. Uh, and so somebody you know, newer to the hobby uh, might not even realize these things are a thing, right? So possibly they'll buy uh, you know some track, and uh, they go ahead and put it together. Realize that these clips don't work, you know they won't fit in there, and so they think, oh, the track doesn't lock together. That sucks, you know. Or possibly they, uh, you know, they're trying to use it with their newer track, and what they realize is that in order for this to go together one of these red clips has to come out for it to go together. And now, sure, you can lock this track in on one edge, but not the other. And, ev and inevitably that will come apart. And so, again, back to that sediment of, yeah, it'll work, but not as well. Uh, again, not realizing maybe these are a thing. So when you're using an old piece of track and a new piece of track, you need to use a, a newer connector and an older connector. And when you do that, you now have the track locked together on both edges. So there is something to keep in mind then if you're looking for used track. Uh, you know, keep, be aware of that. And, and if you do, go ahead and buy some of the older track. Just be sure that you know, it comes with these clips. Uh, or Fortunately, Carrera still has these available. Carrera retailers have those. You can still find them online, used on eBay and whatever uh, also. Uh, but they are definitely not as convenient. Uh, these newer style clips, you can put the whole track together and then just kind of reach under and slide these in to place uh, the other clips. Not so convenient. But uh, you can see definitely uh, because they've got, uh, you know, the... Uh, you know, 132 and the 124 in the evolution and then also uh, 
Exclusive, which is, again, that older track. It just locks together differently. Uh, and then the Pro X designation also. And that's one thing I'm going to get to next. If you are looking to buy used track, but the digital specific accessories like lane changers, keep an eye out for the Pro X because that is Carrera's first generation digital and it wasn't around very long but it is not compatible with the current digital uh, now the standard pieces like this one for example this is just a squeeze track it also lists exclusive evolution on here that's basically the same as putting say something like that in your digital track it'll work uh, but if it's a lane changer or pit lane labeled pro x it won't work uh, essentially every time a car goes over it it'll switch lanes whether or not you have the lane change button pulled or not. So, uh, and, and the dangerous part about that too is when you're looking at used track, uh, those lane changers uh, and the pit lane, they look the same as they do now. It just internally, uh, the electronics uh, won't work. So uh, just something else to, uh, to be aware of. You know, of course, that is if you, unless you have a Pro X set, then, uh, and you probably don't, um, but if you do, then you know you do, and so you know that's what you're looking for. And that brings me to my last point, also concerning Pro X. If you're looking to get a, a used uh, digital slot car from you know, eBay or Amazon somewhere, that those Pro X cars are still out there, and they won't work with the current digital, uh, career digital, unless they're re-chipped. And you probably wouldn't even want to bother anyway, as the performance of those cars isn't even close to the current G4 and G5 chassis. So just one more thing to, to watch out for. Well, I think that's everything that I wanted to mention. If you had any questions about compatibility with the digital and analog, I hope I answered those questions and also uh, helped you to avoid a potential pitfall when buying used track. Do us a favor, give us a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if not already. We really appreciate you watching and we'll see you at the finish line.